Matt, this is a disaster. What are you doing? I, I, I'm not supposed to be know what I'm talking about. <laughs> How's going, crew? This is Happy Days, and welcome back to our Terraria 1.4 point something Master Mage playthrough adventure. And oh my gosh, I've forgotten how to talk. And guys, as you can see, we are straight into the crazy today, taking on Golem and getting ready for our finale. Yes, did I forget to mention that? It is our finale of our Mage series today, and I'm very excited to get into it. And hopefully we don't get completely destroyed by Golem, but so far, so good. Has he even landed a hit yet? Oh, I'm, I'm pretty sure he will soon. And uh, yes, I do apologize for missing a few episodes. I will talk about that uh, as we get into our adventure. And oh my gosh. We wiped the floor with Golem. Holy moly. We've got our relic. Mages are so strong. We've got our full set of Spectre armor. Have some awesome mage weapons. And I've got a pet. Oh, we've got a cute little Golem pet. But we need to keep... Uh, no, I've got my cat pet. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> so anyway, let's open our treasure bag. See what we get. Do I need anything from this? Three, two, one. Boom. I got Heat Ray. Okay, I don't use this much. But maybe it's been boosted in since the 1.4 update. So... Definitely need to try that. We might swap out our bubble gun. And now uh, let's get another one going. Three, two, one, boom! Okay, let's do this. Get a bit of golden shower going. Get some more uh, Nimbus clouds. So guys, we have a lot to do today. Actually, let's try out our new heat ray. Oh, it doesn't pierce. I thought it pierced. So yeah, a big sorry guys uh, for missing some episodes. All that live streaming, I actually lost my voice there for a few days. And the doctor said, like I was saying, oh, I do live streaming. And he's like, yeah, you probably need to uh, rest your voice. Uh, doing our streams is not going to help you get it back quicker. So yeah, so what I'm going to do guys, we're doing our finale today and we will be doing some more Christmas streams as well, don't worry. Uh, and I'll talk about that as we get into our episode as well. So we've got another golem beaten. Uh, let's see, we've got another relic. Oh, I guess we'll just put it over here. Beautiful. Let's see what else we get. Three, two, one, boom! Okay, what do I get? Oh, I got the other magic weapon! <laughs> and we got a pixel. Oh, wow, this is actually pretty good. I don't know if I really need anything else. Uh, nettle burst, that's pretty good, but I think uh, boulder stuff. Oh, it's godly as well. <gasps> we definitely have to try this. Anyway, I'll farm a few more golems, but we've got a lot to do today, so let's get straight into it, guys. Now, Jerry, it's a bit dangerous here. You might want to run for your life. Just a, just a serving suggestion for you there, my friend. As we get our buffs on, ready for the cultists. Uh, what should I destroy them with? What's going to get them? Oh, we've got to use boulder stuff. Okay, let's see if we can get them all in one hit. You ready? Three, two, one. Boom. No, no, it took two slices, but that is fine. Let's get our Nimbus Cloud out, Nimbus Rod, all that good stuff. What just hit me? Was that a slime? Oh my gosh. I really like this Night Glow, but it uses mana like crazy. It is out of control. Now, Happy, you have to remember not to spawn five cultists like you normally do. Like, I always get this wrong. What is it? Is he um, invulnerable against Icor? Holy moly. Okay, get the right one, Happy. Did I... No! No, I did it again! Why do I always do it? Oh, this is so bad. I always mess up this fight. Oh my gosh. Okay, what should I use? What should I... Yeah, Rainbow Rod. Okay, no, 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 no. I'm taking damage. Quick, get your, get your magic hat on. Your healing hat. Your hat of magic. All right. Oh my gosh, as I run back into him. I've got to put honey in the arena as well. Okay, let's go. So, no, that, that, no, I got the wrong one again. I got the wrong one again. Ooh. All right, let's get some more Nimbusy cloud of goodness. All right, we're gonna be fine, people. See, the main thing is you don't panic. All right, like I never panic. You guys know this. All right, well, how long are we here? Seventeen seconds. All right, a few more razor blades. Maybe I should go for some bubble gun. Let's just get up close and personal and bubble gun you to do. No, no, there's like four cultists. Ah, have I got my heal? I haven't got my healing hat on. Okay. Oh, I got it. <laughs> I won. <laughs> fight is so Did I even use the honey during the fight? Ooh, happy. What are you doing with your life? Oh my god. Okay. Well, we got. Okay, Jerry. You can have. You can have the cultist thing. There you go. You like that? And uh, oh, you still don't get loot off him, do you? Okay. I got my ancient manipulator. That's kind of fun. So yeah, one guess where I'm going first. There is a pillar I need to get my hands on. Let's go find it. Okay, Mango, you know what time it is. It is time for some pillar action. And the Nebula Pillar appears to have spawned 
in the hello no it's in our jungle biome here where is it okay here we go beautiful oh, no it spawned in my npc house they're gonna die oh, i'm so sorry in advance npcs although i will get the uh dryad buff which is kind of nice i get nature's blessing uh not complaining oh my gosh i'm taking so much damage healing hat on you need a better way to swap them this is so crazy okay i need to get some blah, 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 blah. I need to get some nimbus -y rods. Oh, no, happy. No, happy. No, no. <laughs> oh, I hate this. <sighs> you know what? I'm just not <laughs> the NPCs are dying. <sighs> I'm just going to leave my healing hat on. Uh, maybe that is the trick to fighting these crazy mobs. I don't even know. Oh, my gosh. I've got a thing on my head. <sighs> so, anyway, you guys have seen the pillars. So, I won't show all of, all of the fighting because it takes quite a while to get through them, but I will quickly say uh, with our Christmas series, uh, the next episode will be coming out uh, probably just after this in a, in a day or so. Uh, but what I will be doing, just to make sure my voice is back 100%, I'll be recording the first one uh, like a Let's Play episode, so I won't be streaming it. Uh, and that's just so I can get my voice back all the way. Uh, but then what we'll probably do Christmas Eve, Boxing Day, stuff like that is we'll probably do some longer streams. Uh, so Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, uh, we'll do a few longer streams for you guys and we'll have a bit of fun, like we'll try and get as far as we can in our Malice Mode adventure and uh, see see if we can beat the bosses. We were actually, um, we were starting to do better uh, as we got later in Hard Mode. I remember we did some of the bosses first shot. No, no, both of the NPCs died. Oh, I'm so sorry. Anyway, I need 36 fragments to get the two nebula weapons. So let's zoom ahead to the end of the pillar and we'll see if we get enough. Okay, people, the barrier is down. I put some Nimbus clouds there, but I think I put them in the wrong spots. Oh, Happy, what are you doing with your life? Okay, just don't die again and it should be fine. All right, I need to fix these nimbus -y things. All right, there we go. Beautiful. They're in a better position. Getting some attacks in. This is glorious and we want 36 fragments. Have I got my heal? Okay, let's go damage. All right, let's swap to damage. It's all under control, people. Oh, you just got to believe. All right, here we go. Getting it close to finish. I can't even talk anymore. Woo! All right, yeah, we got it. We got it. Beautiful. Hopefully these mobs will leave me alone now. Ah, beautiful. And we have the Victory Night Sky. Ah, so nice. And that's probably because we just defeated Golem. Ah, beautiful. Oh, how many how many fragments did I get? Did I get them all already? Oh, what did I get? Oh, 41. Oh, we just got enough. You can get up to 100 in Master Mode. So that was cutting it pretty fun. Anyway, uh, I'll do the next two pillars quickly, I think. And then we will get back to town and get ready for the Moon Lord. Ah, uh, it's a nice new day, and finally those crazy pillars are over. Well, I've still got one to go, but you know what I mean. And is it just me, or are pillars really hard for mage? I don't even know. Anyway, we have our relic tower now. I'm just missing the moon lord, and we've got our fragments that we've collected so far. So let's make the nebula blaze and the nebula arcanum. I'll make both. I mo mostly want the... Uh, I've got lazy yuck. Uh, I mostly want the blaze for the moon lord. And let's just make a few Stardust Fragments so I can upgrade... Uh, where are they? Where are my healing potions? Can I make them? Hang on. Oh, I need to do them at a... I, I think you make them at a, an actual bottle. So let's get all of these. Oh my gosh. Why can't you just craft them there, honestly? So let's go to our Alchemy Station and I can make eight. Okay, that's an upgrade. So got that nice healing going on. So for our arena, I don't think I'm actually going to do too much. Oh, I've used all my Nebula Fragments. Oh well. So for our arena, we've got our desert one, which is just here. So what I did is I've made a spawn point. We've got our crystal ball. And I think I'm just going to use this because mages have a lot of long range weapons. Uh, especially now I've got my blaze and all that good stuff and my boulder stuff. But I did bring along uh, a few things of honey. And I thought what I could use doing the blocks, block swap trick is just make a few little like honey buckets here. Little pockets of honey. So while I'm fighting the moon lord, I can kind of do that. And then we'll just expand... Oh, I fell off it. <laughs> and then I thought we'll just expand our arena just using platforms. So I'll get this done today. I'll fight the pillars tonight. And then it is time for our Moon Lord battle. Let's go. Okay, people. The night time is here. And as you can see, I have been farming a bunch of Stardust enemies. Uh, and I just used the good old um, Star Cell trick. 
where you just let them spawn over and over to make this pillar a lot easier indeed. So let's get our Nimbus Rod. Uh, that actually works really well against the, um, the pillar. I couldn't believe it. And Nebula Blaze was doing wonders as well. So let's quickly take out this thing. Beautiful. Let's get a bit more mana. Ah, uh, lovely indeed. All right. So let's quickly get our fragments. Let's just get rid of these enemies. I don't want to take too much damage though. All right. There we go. Beautiful. <gasps> I'm almost dead. Holy moly. All right. Let's get back to our arena. Let's refresh our buffs. And let's get ready for our Moon Lord battle, people. Let's go. Okay, people. Here we go. It is Moon Lord time. And uh, hopefully we don't get instantly killed. That would be sad. Okay, I've missed the honey, but that's fine. So I think for the start, uh, it's going to be a little hard to focus on the forward eye, I think. Uh, because, yeah, Nebula Blaze sort of does what it feels like for the most part. I guess if I cut... Yeah, see, it's a little hard to target. So what I might try instead is just, like, work on the hand eyes straight away. Normally I leave them, like, to the last second, but that's okay. We'll do a bit of this. I think the Moon Lord's eyes are actually vulnerable to eye core as well, if you can get it to work. So... That's okay, I need more mana. Alright, beautiful. Dodge the death ray. Always fun. Yeah, you can see those hands are pretty much almost done already. Actually, I should also... Let's try and get a few... A few Nimbuses around. Why not? You never know. They could come in handy. Let's use some of our... Oh my gosh, I'm taking so much damage. <gasps> no, the forehead eyes open. Oh my gosh, how long has it been open, guys? How long? No! No! Went the other way! Happy no! Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's go back here. Alright, so let's swap to our healing hood get a few heals if we can although the moon oh doesn't that block healing so it's probably no point using it because i can't heal <laughs> that's a bit sad isn't it <laughs> okay this this could be a, a little bit of a sad thing okay i've got three seconds off a heal i've already got some of the eyes open all right we've got a heal i've got mana this is all under control all right i just want to get some honey if i can all right beautiful do a bit of dodging so i've got to keep right away if i can all right, if we can get this forehead eye open now, that would be lovely. No, which way is it going? Ah, no, I got hit by death ray. Ooh, this could be a little bit unfortunate. So the core is open at least. So let's uh, change directions here. Um, I think I think I can hit the core with eye core as well. So core with eye core. All right, keep moving happy. I need to keep out of range of those death rays. All right, here we go. Beautiful. I did swap my hood back. Yep, okay. All under control. All right, so that core is... Whoa, I got hit again. How long off your heal? 17 seconds. No, no, I'm out of my arena. Oh, no. This could be a disaster, guys. Oh, my gosh. Just keep running happy. Just keep aiming at that core. It's getting close. Okay, here we go. How long off your heal? Five seconds. Am I going to make it? Oh, where's that core? I can't see it. Okay, yeah, it's almost down. It's almost down. Get a heal. Beautiful. We're going to make it. Yes, we can do this, people. Come on. Ah! We did it! We did it! Moon Lord is defeated. Oh man, that got close. That got pretty close indeed. Ooh. And we got our nice Moon Lord treasures here. Let's go back to our safety box. It is a full moon. The, the werewolves are out. I've got the credits playing again. Oh my gosh, credits! Ooh. So what I need is... Ideally, I want the last prism first shot. Or the Nebia... Oh, what, what is it? The Lunar Flare? That would be nice as well. So let's get in our safety box. Fingers crossed, guys. We want a mage weapon. Three, two, one. Boom! What'd I get? No! I've got SDMG. <laughs> Celestial Starboard. Is that better than my... um? I don't know. I think this hovers, doesn't it? I can't remember. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Does it hover? No, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so I have to run through and get some more Luminite. Maybe two or th two more runs, maybe three. Uh, so I'm going to do that because I wanna, I've got some ideas for the last prism. So let's zoom ahead and see what we can do. Okay, people, I have been farming some Moon Lords. And as you can see, I did get my hands on the last prism, but I am trying one last time to see if we can also grab... The Lunar Flare. Oh my gosh, don't die, Happy. <laughs> don't die. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't die at the end, Happy. Okay, beautiful. We've done it. Excellent. So I had enough uh, Luminite to make the Nebula Armor, but I thought I'll keep trying. See if we can get the last Mage Weapon, which would be nice. All right, here we go. Beautiful. Collect all of our nice loot. So yeah, so we've got another Relic, and I need that for my Relic Stand. I've got enough Luminite. But we need to see. If it cross your fingers, cross your toes. Are we going to get... What did I call it? Last prism. No, I need Lunar Flare. Yeah. I, did I say that? I don't even know. Okay, let's open it up. Three, two, one. Boom. Ah, I got Terrarian. That's actually a really good weapon, though. Ah, 
else? Anyway, what we need next is our spore sack. Uh, because uh, there is a certain trick I love to do uh, with the... What is it? What am I talking about? The last prism. So let's get all our loot in there. Let's put our third weapon in there. And let's add our final relic uh, to our relic stand here. I think I've got most of the main bosses. Uh, so what we can do now, let's put our Luminite in here and we can actually make our... Where is it? Where's the nebula? No, no, hang on. What have I done wrong? Oh, I need to make Luminite bars. Oh, I'm like, where's the armor? I've ruined it. Christmas is over. Okay, here we go. So we've got nebula leggings. we got the breastplate and we got the helmet. Uh, and what I like to do is set up a really nice event farm with the spore sack and some statues to crack... Uh, to sp spam nebulas like crazy. So I'll get that done and let's get ready for the finale, people. Okay, I've spent a while setting up our mob farm and as you can see, to the right of our base is now all lava. <laughs> and I've got a little bat battle platform here and then it's the same the other side. And uh, I'll put a link on screen if you want to learn how to make these arenas uh, because they're really good for farming mobs. So in Terraria, mobs can't spawn if uh, there's lava blocking to the left and right of you, about 80 blocks. Uh, so that way we can force mobs to spawn in a certain location. So we'll set our spawn point. And what I'm going to do is I've set up some statues here. And what you want to do to make the most of the last prism is you want to maximize your damage because we don't need to move at all. Uh, so you can see I've got some new accessories and I don't need my boots. So you take all of your movement stuff off anything like that and then what you want to do is turn on the uh, statue and get some nimbus clouds above you and what will happen is when you deal player damage to mobs they can actually spawn nebulas even though they're from a statue so the spore sack can't actually generate them but it helps to kill them uh, so let's just turn that off for a second so that will enable me to like destroy all the mobs. I forgot I don't have um, movement things on. Uh, the mobs will spawn down here and we will just go nebula crazy up here and hopefully destroy all of the mobs really fast. So we'll wait for night time and let's fight an event. Come on, you can do it. Kill the pumpkin. Kill the pumpkin. Ooh, are we going to kill it? No. <laughs> we got to wave 11. Okay, don't die. Throw it on a heal. Throw it on a heal. Don't die, happy. Oh, yeah. I wonder if the statue mobs are hurting my things, though. No, Happy! This is a disaster. What are you doing? I, I, I'm supposed to be know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, okay. I think I figured out what I was doing wrong because I messed this up big time. So I had to make some changes. So I put a conveyor belt here to throw all the trash loot into the lava. And then the other thing I was doing wrong is my accessories were not right. Um, so I've changed them to warding for a bit of extra defense. Also, I discovered that the Nimbus Rod was actually interfering with the last prism's damage. So let's get our buffs on. Uh, let's get uh, the mob spawning. And then let's get the Pumpkin Moon started. So, yeah. So basically 1.4 has... I made this farm in 1.3. And 1.4 has changed a lot of how farming works. So, yeah, I normally you could use the spore sack to generate um, uh, nebulas from all these mobs, but it doesn't work anymore. So now, I that, that's why I tried using uh, Nimbus Rod, but it was actually interfering with the damage from, um, yeah, my last prism. So, yeah, so when I stopped using that, I'm like, wow, they're dying so much quicker. Um, because yeah, the pumpkin was taking like 20 seconds to die, which yeah, we can't have that. So yeah, and then warding is helping a little bit too. So here comes the pumpkin and as you can see, like absolutely melted uh, now that we can do proper damage. And if you look at my DPS uh, meter in the top right corner there, you can see we're doing some pretty good numbers, but it will get bigger. And the nice thing, I wasn't using the cobalt shield uh, either. I've got the obsidian shield on. Uh, the cool thing about this is because you're on Fishron, you can like freely fly down, get a few nebulas, you can fly back up, and uh, that's working pretty sweet. So let's zoom ahead to wave 15 and we'll see if we can survive. Okay guys, the crazy is starting now, and you do have to be ready because it's master mode, you have to be ready to hit uh, your heal button at a second's notice. But the nice thing is, because of the way this farm works, if you fly down, it actually stops most of the mobs from spawning. Uh, so if you do need a quick break or you want to refresh your last prism, uh, you can do it that way. But see our damage now, it's getting up around, what, 30, 40, 50,000. 
uh, which is pretty insane. And yeah, all you need to do is just fly up, fly down occasionally, don't die, <laughs> just throw a quick heal on them. Um, and it's just because the pumpkins especially, they deal hundreds of damage as a hit. So yeah, as you can see my last prism just turned off. But uh, yeah, this is a fun farm to do, guys. Really awesome. Uh, I probably want to tweak it and see if I can get the loot to come up to me somehow. Um, but yeah, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed our series. Smash like, make sure you're subscribed. All that good stuff. Don't die now, happy. <laughs> Don't die now! <laughs> anyway, I've got some more voice acting for Maxwell's outro. Uh, epilogue and yeah stay tuned for the Christmas series to continue tomorrow and here's the most important part as always you'll stay happy and I'll see you soon this is happy day signing out see ya there's no end to them time to finish this <laughs> well, that certainly worked. He said they're out there. That guy, Caleb, he saw my parents. I'm sure they're fine, but it couldn't hurt to see if they need my help. Looks like they're ready for more. You're no match for me, bring it on! <laughs>